Have you ever tried to breathe under the water? Of course I can't. I need the air to breathe. How do humans breathe? My lungs take in the oxygen gas from air and produce carbon dioxide gas in air. These beautiful fish can stay and breathe under water all the time. Unlike human, fish don't breathe using lungs, but they have gills to breathe. Gills are found on both sides of fish's head. How do fish breathe underwater? Water enters the mouth of the fish and passes across the gills. Blood vessels inside the gills carry oxygen gas to the rest of the body and release carbon dioxide. That means all creatures live under the water using gills to breathe? No. The amphibians, the family of frogs, toads, and salamanders, they are small animals, live in water and on land. Their bodies covered with skin. How do amphibians breathe in? On land, they are like humans. They take in oxygen and produce carbon dioxide in air using lungs. When they are in water, it seems to be different. They take in oxygen from water through their skins. That allows water and gases to pass through. So, they can absorb oxygen directly from water. Amphibians are very sensitive to the effects of water air pollution and viruses that can travel through water. Give an advice to people. Help in protection of amphibians from extinction. Keep the water clean. Avoid throwing waste materials in water. Dispose of chemicals in a correct way. Some change happened in the environment by him. These changes are harmful for us and other living organisms. What are the human activities that change the environment? Water pollution by throwing waste material to waterways inside. Air pollution from exhaust from cars and some factories. Also cutting down forests and replacing them by building communities instead of grassland. Farming and cleaning land. Introducing plants and animals in the environment that were never part of the ecosystem. These activities have negative effects on human, animals and plants. They cause heart diseases, damage of lungs, breathing difficulty, that's mean asthma. These changes resulted from human activities can cause the disappearance of plants and animals that once live in an environment. Humans must keep air, water and soil clean so human can help restore their ecosystems by removing the pollutants of air and water, replanting the cleared forests, preserving plants and animals in these ecosystems. See you next time. Thank you.